it's the dead of winter and we're freezing our toes off and that's why we're talking this week about hot holidays like a trip to a hedonism resort this is adults only so give those kids to the in-laws and jet off summer tropical while listening to this podcast with your adults ears the middle of winter and we're almost to that peak season of spring break in various colleges and high schools so we're talking about how to escape the winter blues and go someplace that makes your friends family and well-wishers envious that they can't be where you are is that really the whole point of a vacation just to make other people uh envious of you that's 50 percent of the reason for a hot holiday i, I would feel say. that i feel yeah. that i mean uh that's up here a- in- what I was interrupting just, me, Al? I'm sorry. I was okay. just going to say that's Welcome 100% now. of the reason the why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the room with you guys right now. I'm Skyping in for my hot holiday. There we oh, go. Yeah, yeah, right. Son of a... <laughs> no, uh, yeah, that's the reason. Uh, first, to make people jealous because mm-hmm. you've escaped yes. the mind-numbing hell hole or hellscape that is a Canadian winter, at right. least. Uh, I know it gets pretty freezing in uh, places in the States for our U.S. listeners. That's mm-hmm. true. And that's why the good God above invented things like spring break, reading week, right? Just Fair to enough. escape the cold yes. and not die. I have uh, an uncle who oh. has moved to Australia. Yeah, that's and, what you got to do. And very frequently in the winter, he'll send a picture uh, of like two temperatures side by side of like minus 40 and plus 40 and that the difference between where he is and where we are is like 80 degrees is there an australian term for dick uh i think it's just dick because he's a so, dick no, maybe all that, right they might have nice like, temperatures like but we never wake up with giant spiders covering <laughs> our noses that is true yeah. so is no <laughs> not this year at least <laughs> no not yet yeah so i hear in the outback that happens constantly yeah and I'm not talking about Australia. I'm talking about the Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> yeah. No, it used to be uh, you'd go on a nice warm holiday <laughs> and you'd uh, send your loved ones a postcard. <laughs> and it had that copper tone kid. Yeah. Yes, that's or, you know, true. It had yeah, a beautiful yeah, locale. True. And it's yeah. like, wish you were here, but not really. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, though. Like, is it just me or was I not aware of this? But you weren't it seems aware. when I was younger... People in this area, at least, didn't go away as much on these no. tropical vacations. No. In fact, my parents never took me on a single vacation out of the country, actually, ever. Uh, we once did a road trip to Montana yeah. from Canada, That's and exotic. that was exciting. Like yeah. I was going to another country. It was right. pretty cool, but mm-hmm. uh, that's it. Maybe your parents were ashamed of you. No, they went to Hawaii once. Oh, uh nice. <laughs> And they you pronounced it correctly. Uh, well, I was doing it intentionally because I knew you <laughs> were going to criticize me, as you always do. They Alex went to, to say Hawaii and Hawaii. Hawaii. So they went to Hawaii once, yeah. and they didn't take us. They just I had to stay in school and study, and they were wow. off having fun. Look at that! They sound like monsters. Seems to me more people are taking their families and going on these. Well, you know why? Why? There's two reasons. Why, why is, that? is that? Well, apparently it's getting colder. Okay. And also, Facebook. Yeah, you need something to be able to post. Mm. So you go on a hot holiday so you can put your 100 posts up. And, and you, make see, everyone you see more people right. going on holidays. Yeah. And so you think it gets in your head, hey, I yeah. got to go there. Yeah. It's- well, then how about we start up a business right? okay. uh, where we get a few people who are really great with Photoshop and maybe After Effects. Okay. We bring in the family. And it's a fraction of the price of the all-inclusive resort, and we just take oh. footage of them yeah. in a big green screen studio, right. and we add all of the effects in afterwards, right. and they can Facebook post to their delight. Huh. Maybe we you keep- still get some like free drinks as part of the deal. A couple, yeah, not but not it's, it's all more about but it's more about making people jealous than it is about actually getting the experience. Right, I'm already kind of one step ahead of you because years ago I <laughs> right. took yeah. this beautiful picture of Derek and his wife. Mm-hmm. in front of this roaring fire and they're both in their you know ski pants and ski jackets and right. ready to hit the slopes and i made people jealous with that photo but we were really just we're in just a higher a, end starbucks we're just at a starbucks oh. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> just waiting for a latte i remember that well that's yeah, the way to work. do it for it was sure. awkward because we're yeah. the only two people on like full ski gear mm-hmm. at a starbucks but right yeah how else can we make people jealous of our hot holiday because that is half the reason 
Well, my idea was going back to the Facebook too, is what about if there was an app developed for Facebook where you just upload every single photo that you took during your trip and then uh, the app automatically spaces them out throughout the year to remind people of the awesome time that you had while you were there and they weren't there and didn't have it. So it just goes for like a year. They can't wake up without getting a post of your vacation. Right. right? And then you find out that you basically have no friends by the end of that year in Facebook anymore, but... It often, yeah. what if it also had like a feature where it could time, like, uh, it could tie into local uh, weather reports. And then, you know, if I'm sitting there and it's minus 50 with right. the wind chill, yeah. it's going to pop up that picture. But if it's, you know, minus 10, it's going to hold that till the temperature gets a little lower. And then yeah. it really shows how much you're enjoying your hot holiday. Uh, it's a good, a good one to just ship. really get in on yeah. that. I mean, how many people have posted a facebook post of their toes with a beer beside it pointed out towards an ocean tropical oh. water yes, like an the ocean. Corona ad. it's a very very common yes thing yeah. to see i've yes. seen a lot of uh, my facebook friends toes that way mm-hmm. i didn't want to what would be fun is just to go on this trip everybody knows you're going on this trip and just post horrible things like the trip is not going well yeah you could have i don't know like Maybe <laughs> the lifeguard is giving CPR to someone by the side of the pool. You just post or, diarrhea in all caps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just an inverted holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. people are going to choose a hot place to go. Mm-hmm. How about you, Al? Have you ever been on like an all-inclusive trip or a cruise somewhere? Like, do you have an experience of hot holidays? Oh, we've done a few. I mean, we've done the resorts and we've done the... Um, We've done Maui, so uh, I've been to Cuba. Yeah, I was in Maui, and that was, of course, not an all-inclusive resort, Mm -hmm. but probably my most favorite uh, hot holiday destination of all time. It was just amazing. Why was it not an all-inclusive? Well, of course it's not. Well, there aren't a lot of all-inclusive resorts uh, on Maui. It's more of, you know, you're going to rent your condo and uh, do your own thing, rent mm-hmm. a car, and it's uh, it's pretty great. But I've done all-inclusives in Mexico, and we did one in Cuba. So, yeah. And that was uh, when there was an embargo on all product coming into Cuba. So it's opened up a little bit in the last few years, but uh, that was actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Did so, you get some uh, cigars? I'm not a smoker, and it just seemed like a huge waste of money to me. But they wouldn't have just like an all-inclusive cigar buffet? Mm, you no know cigar buffet, no. <laughs> I've only been to one all-inclusive in oh. my life, so I don't really and know. where was that? Uh, it was in Mexico. <laughs> just envisioning an all-inclusive cigar buffet. With all these people have never had cigars and everyone just yeah. throwing up everywhere. Yeah. You know, just Monte Cristo, as yeah. far as you can see. 15 cohibas yeah. later, Green you're just dying. People yeah. puking in the sand. Yeah. Right? I went to... Puerto Vallarta, oh, okay. Mexico, mm-hmm. right. and it was yeah. for a wedding, so uh-huh. I don't think it's the traditional all-inclusive experience when you're there for a wedding, but right. it was very nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I enjoyed it thoroughly, and um, yeah, I had trouble relaxing. Mm, me too. You know, wow. I had trouble just laying for an uh, extended period of time on the sand, yeah. right. or on a chair even. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I couldn't, uh, my brain was too programmed I guess. For activities. For activities, yeah. Mm-hmm. You, but and, I did enjoy, you and my uh, wife would get along very well because... We do get along very well. That's true. Yeah. You have. Mm-hmm. There's been a couple of occasions where you've fought, but yeah. you have usually work it through. Yeah. But uh, she loves to be moving and doing things. Right. So yeah. actually, she really liked Maui because we could just get in the car and drive up, yeah. go somewhere, yeah. you know, see turtles on the beach or whatever. Yeah. But the resort thing, I think, is at least my experience with it is you should sit in a chair, have a waitress bring you a beer every 30 minutes or so, yeah. and just chill out. Right. And just the sit at a swim up it. bar and mm-hmm. fill the pool if you're pee. Oh, yeah. Right. And yeah. she's not geared for that. So, right. no. How about you, Derek? Have you done it? Um, when I was in university, I sang in a choir and we went on a, a trip to Cuba in a, mm-hmm. like a, a university exchange kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I loved Cuba. I thought it was a great place. It was mm-hmm. just. Uh, it seemed like every single person there was like musical, had like, they just moved with music. It was really neat. I really Everybody's liked that. You're right. The the music, you're right about the music. I um, agree with you. Yeah. And I went to, when I was like, we never went on hot holidays as a family. I had like one friend who who went and I, I always remember, but uh, we never went on anything. But we, I went as a, I don't know, 20 something to Mexico to a, like Playa del Carmen for 
I don't know, mm-hmm. uh, four days or something like that okay. during your spring break. So you've done these uh, as a single person. You haven't done them with your family yet. No. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Have you gone with uh, your family? Yeah. The, the two trips that, well, the three trips that I talked about were all family With everybody. Trips. Yeah. 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 So they were really good. I feel like that would be like how dip more difficult to navigate. Like if you, if you're going with the idea of like sitting on, if I went on, on yeah. to an all inclusive right now with the idea of like, I'm going to sit and consume like mojitos and uh, that's not going to fly with my family right now. I would, I would get like zero time mm. to enjoy that free they have kids beverages. Clubs. Yeah. So for the young kids, you can drop them up. They love it. Really? You can do activities for like five, six hours. You and your wife can get <laughs> really drunk by the pool. So, yeah, I just did Pick one them. a year ago, and it yeah. was it was the swim-up bar. We were in the Mayan, yeah. and it was just just amazing. And actually, there was like four or five pools there, yeah. and one of, like, one of the pools was kind of really mellow, and they had quiet, calm music, mellow but then there yellow. was one in the middle mm-hmm. that was like activities-based, and it was like... Uh, you had like the activities team and they'd be in the water with the whistles and they're making everybody like do aerobics. And wow. I love to go to that one. I didn't participate, but I <laughs> just, just watched. <laughs> yes, sat, I just watch. heckled. You just <laughs> sat on the side with your cream corona yelling them. at people. Yeah, it was quite great. It was really, uh, really quite enjoyable. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, everybody either goes to like Mexico, it seems, or Cuba, or like the Bahamas for these like resorts or all inclusives. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's an untapped market? What's a place you you'd like to see a cruise happen, or maybe set up an all inclusive? I mean, I'm I, brimming I, with ideas. Yeah, I got go a ahead. cruise idea. Yeah. All right, um, okay. Where you there's like there's like a bunch of movies about. I mean, I don't have a, a lot of first hand knowledge about this, but Speed of like two cruise control. Uh, oh, yeah. That's you've seen them all. I wasn't yeah, thinking yeah. about that, but that's a good yeah. idea. Um, it's not about a good idea. Shipping like going around like shipping the lanes? south of Africa and like there being like <laughs> yeah. pirates down there. Oh. You know, like l- legit pirates like taking over like yeah. cargo ships. What's the, a movie, t- so. what's the Tom Hanks movie called? Yeah, there's a there's Captain a mo- Phillips. Captain yeah. Phillips, a Captain yeah. Phillips themed cruise. Right. And so like as part I'm of the this, captain now. <laughs> as part of this cruise, like it could potentially be taken over. Yeah. Uh, it could tie into, you know, our fitness idea yeah. of uh, you know, life or death situations and you right. have to be ready for those. So, but you know, maybe like a pirate theme, but like real pirates, not like Johnny Depp pirates. <laughs> you just that sounds enjoy yeah. your yeah. time more because you don't, you don't know don't, when it's gonna end. You don't know if it's done. Yeah. yeah. That's very close to one of my ideas, because I actually thought of having an all-inclusive that was located at the base or the foot of a quite active volcano. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 And again, you it just makes uh, you want to live your life because right. it's you're constantly in the only. shadow of death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that is good. I and it could that... be, uh, maybe it would cap off your trip nicely, I guess, when it finally blows and you're flying away in your plane, but... Now, wasn't it recently that some people were actually killed on a in a volcano Uh-oh. in New Zealand? This is awkward. Off of a cruise ship. Okay. So were your they like on a, like a trip or they were on a ship? And they were on a cruise ship and they were stopping for this excursion. Yeah. And then the volcano blew up and several people died. They were they got off the ship. Yeah. And they oh yeah and then okay. I so, retract my whole idea. I family. apologize to everybody, <laughs> and I no longer think that that is a viable pitch. It was actually a yeah. news story, and so you're making light of it, but that's okay. I mean, How about a moon base inclusive or uh, uh, international space to station yeah, inclusive? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It could be expensive. Yeah, because we're trying to dabble more of privatizing space travel, right? right. So maybe we have an all-inclusive on the space station or right. a Star Trek-themed all-inclusive. Right. Yeah. the SpaceX right. all-inclusive. You know? Well, I had a few too. Mine was more be- geared for the budget traveler. Like okay. an all-inclusive like vacation this. is expensive, right. right? So I'm thinking one of the best things about the all-inclusive vacation, it's the drinks, the all the drinks that you get, right? plus the food. Agreed. Right. But it's the location that gets expensive too, mm-hmm. right? You're in this, this beautiful, true. like uh, right. the, the real estate's worth a lot of money. So you've got right. all these employees. I'm thinking, what if you just set up a really large old warehouse in an industrial park yep. and you convert that into a cheap resort and it's got really killer food and drink. Yeah. You put all your money oh, into that. Right. So the food and drink is just absolutely amazing. The rest of it's not so great. You've you, got a swimming pool in there. 
there. There's a pool. It sucks. They but crank the heat up to like 35. <laughs> yeah. And you know, if you live in a place where it's winter, you can yeah. go there. Yeah. And it's in the industrial park, so right. it's not going to be as expensive. It's a right. warehouse. It doesn't have windows. Maybe there's like a like a local like microbrewery attached to it. That you oh, know, yeah. You know, you could you're going to have like buy into the that best market. chefs, everything. Yeah. Okay. What you're describing is a buffet restaurant. Yeah, that's true. But you Those stay exist. there. Oh. So it's a buffet restaurant that yeah, you stay yeah. at yeah, for seven days. At, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just oh, sleep idea. at a buffet. <laughs> yeah. They have the you best paramedics in town there. <laughs> what kind of, would they have excursions or would we just <laughs> focused on the, yeah. you could go and check out like some parkour in the other <laughs> industrial could, or areas ex- or something? Excursions to the Mexican area of the buffet maybe <laughs> yeah. or, you know, oh, let's do an excursion <laughs> to the washroom to clean them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like the backyard. Like, Micro area where the w- employees smoke. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and you go out there and they just uh, they do something to perform for you. Like they blow smoke rings. And, right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And then they go back to smoking. And they don't, they don't try to make you think the vacation itself is going to be great. But the food and the drink are going to be it so It actually amazing. is good. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be so amazing that it's going to be worth it. Okay. What and are at your... a fraction of the price. So I had another, one more idea. All for right, let's shoes. hear it. So my other idea is what about an all-inclusive resort that has sponsorship to keep the price down? <laughs> okay. So maybe Pepsi comes yeah. on board, and they are the sponsor for this all-inclusive resort, and all of the food that's at the resort is by Pepsi-owned companies. So like <laughs> okay. Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell. <laughs> they're all right? owned by Pepsi? Yes. Oh. Pepsi. I, I, you, somebody's going to fact check this, but I'm pretty sure they're all owned by Pepsi. Pepsi. World of Relaxation. Right. Okay. So this probably Pepsi's probably got about ten different like these food companies. Right. So it's a fast food, all inclusive. You can go get whatever they like. If you want Pizza Hut, then yeah. you can go get your Pizza Hut. Yeah, yeah. So and Pepsi, lots of Pepsi. Yeah. I don't know if Pepsi has stakes in any alcohol, but uh, mm-hmm. probably if they do, then uh, it's uh, that's the only mix you can get is Pepsi products. Yeah. There's right, no but beer. It's just you could have a Pepsi and, pina colada. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you could have beer, but it's mixed with Pepsi products. Yeah, yeah it's Pepsi beer. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> Pep beer. Yeah, it'd probably be good. You there's could probably like a. Pepsi. It'd probably be terrible, but it would keep <laughs> you away. A drink for that, yeah. like so, like a soda and a beer mix, probably. Yeah, a variation on your in-town all-inclusive idea could right. be since we have like all these food delivery companies like right. Uber Eats and Skip the Dishes and mm-hmm. you know all these ones. Yeah, uh, you could just have like a all-inclusive delivery catering kind of thing. Okay, so hopefully you'd be having a function with lots of people over a couple of days, but yeah. maybe you're just one person and you're just yeah. really ready to let yourself go. And right. they bring the whole experience to you. Right. They just bring this long trough of foods mm-hmm. and you just get to gnaw on it for two days. And That's a good idea. They just deliver everything to your house. They just dump some sand into your house. And, <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, there's you one guy. The shower on hot for a while. Yeah. Increase the humidity. Just humid. Yeah. Yeah. You have one guy. When it's all done? Uh, that's extra. No, yeah. but they do make those little like folded things with your towels oh, and put yeah. it on your bed. <laughs> with your towels. Yeah, they just fold yeah. your towels into <laughs> swans and things, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And there's a guy just performing like a flaming swor- sword swallowing. Sword nice. swallowing. Sword swallowing. Sword swallowing. Sword swallowing. <laughs> swallowing swords. Be nice. Yeah. I like it. So it's the lazy person. It's the really lazy person's all inclusive. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, a lot of our ideas seem to be kind of food based. Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering if there's any foods or drinks that you'd like to see at resorts in particular i love to see all the foods that's true yeah when i see them I are get you happy. adventurous uh with food yes mm-hmm. uh i'll try a few different types of burgers mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah no i like all different types of foods i mean i've only done like one all-inclusive before but they had pretty it wasn't like exotic food right unless you want really wanted exotic mm-hmm. food yeah and it was a resort so you had like your you know, Mexico's version of an Italian restaurant mm-hmm. and there was like a, an Asian restaurant and then there was a, sometimes it was like a Cajun restaurant, you know, <laughs> but that's kind of cool. It's like, yeah. it's a small world of food. Yeah. Right. You know? Yeah. I like ribs. Oh, you know? yeah. Like I was just at an amazing buffet. Yeah. And they had food that I had no idea what, what it was. But didn't matter. It just looked good. Like you couldn't identify it. I had no idea what it was, it but well. I just put the food on my plate and I ate it and everything was amazing. It was yeah. not peanut based. No. No, okay, no. good. 
Hmm. I'm allergic to peanuts. Yeah. If it's never been brought up, I'm yeah. not sure if it has. Yeah. The gravy Garden but, was peanut free. I just remember it was so. and gluten free. Yeah, that's an all inclusive gravy free. buffet <laughs> would be a winner of an idea. That, that could be. be the pool as well. Yes, maybe that's the whole Swim and theme. Eat. <laughs> Swim and eat. The resort is called I don't know Gravies. Gravy. Just Gra- gravy. Gravarelli. Gravarelli. Gravies in the Bahamas. <laughs> yeah. Gra- it's a swim up eatery. Gra- <laughs> gravies is like a play on words because like, if all you eat is gravy, you're actually, right. you get your own gravy. Right. Right. Again, for context, you're going to have to go way back to probably like episode, episode one of, yeah. of Pitch Guys, the Gravy Garden. Hmm. So every once in a while, the waiter's going to come up to you and give you another complimentary gravy shot. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to see more poutine at these things. Okay. Yeah, just to make Canadians feel no, more at home. You, you don't see poutine. No. No. Yeah, it's just fries, gravy, and cheese curds. It's just a, a winning combination. Just a Quebec-based, yeah. uh, all-inclusive. It's not a it's food that castle. you eat if you're going to be productive anyways. So yeah. if you're just sitting on the beach for a week straight, yeah. poutine would be ideal. I don't know if I want to eat poutine and sit in like 30 degree weather. It's like a nap in a dish. I'd like it because then eventually your pores would smell like the gravy and it would just be a pleasant <laughs> smell while you're napping, having your siesta. And I'll tell you, the Quebecois, they have poutine figured out. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, ours is pretty good here in Western Canada, but in Quebec... They add little hot dogs to it, and I'll tell you, that is what makes the difference. You need those little wieners in there. You can get any kind of poutine out there. It's just delightful. Yeah. Yeah. So, more poutines at all-inclusives would be great. I love the local food. Like, that's what I want. Like, if Mm -hmm. I'm down somewhere, I want to get, like, what what, what would a... What would people eat down here on a regular basis? So, if you're in Cuba, you want to eat Cuban food. Yeah, I I don't want to, like, go to a... I don't, I don't want something that I can eat at home. I want something that's like... They bring you just local. McDonald's from Yeah. Well, Cuba. that's that's one yeah. of the things. Though, a lot of those resorts aren't very good at that. Mm-hmm. Like if you go to Cuba, getting actual Cuban food in the... In the, in the you got to leave resort. You do. Yeah. You won't get it like in the actual buffet. Yeah. So... We had, when we were down in Cuba, we had like a, a meal that was like in somebody's house. Like we went to this like this family's home and like ate with them and that was like it was delightful really i don't remember what were you invited to do like, this or you just yeah did we didn't just oh, crash no, they the broke place. in it was actually <laughs> we're eating here yeah <laughs> hey everybody this was an excursion, <laughs> an excursion. everybody <laughs> was handed a handgun yeah <laughs> <laughs> and a battering and a ram and you would just smash the door in yeah it sounds like an excursion you helped them and yeah. said feed me yeah. yeah what about you know the, there's the swim up bars where you can get drinks but what about swim up buffet Ooh. Where you could just fill up with like <laughs> yeah. turkey and stuffing. And- Would the food just be floating in the water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could. Or you could. like trays floating around. Yeah, there could be trays. You get like really a complimentary cool. net to like yeah. strain, yeah. strain out whatever you draw. I like it. Yeah. But I yeah, the find idea that would- whole thing gross though, because people just sit in those all day and they don't leave and they're right. drink and drink. So it's just kind of like this accepted upon social norm that everyone around you is just peeing yeah you got yeah, a lot but, of chlorine okay in there. but the chlorine levels are so high it's not a problem you think it balances it out well, yeah i mean we would they make must, sure the chlorine must, would be super high you must account for it yeah i guess but just the thought of it uh, i can't shake i that. mean i am constantly peeing in my hot tub that and could- nobody's <laughs> ever complained about it at all so you've invited me to use that hot tub several times that's right actually oh i have <laughs> yeah what you about dared, a, you dared him to drink the water though yeah you? um <laughs> a licorice bar maybe that could be yeah. part of the excursion to see how the pool is managed to help help your you know fears of it isn't there a thing that they can do that when someone urinates in the pool it automatically shows like a color or something is that a yeah. myth or is that a yeah. real thing we are still talking about food and drinks here but yeah yeah we're just kind of sidetracking <laughs> like i want to <laughs> yeah. be able to enjoy my drinks <laughs> yeah i don't yeah. know if that's a thing I like, don't know. Like you hear the stories all the time, but I've yeah, never I don't know if that actually was it was a well, myth or not. Well, it was in the movie Grown Ups, so it's got to be true. Oh, That's true. Okay, right. Well, it would probably be a terrible idea because yeah, obviously everyone is, and you would really be aware of it. Mm-hmm. I've got an idea. There's a lot of excess at these all all inclusive resorts, yes, that's right? True. So people taking too much food or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to make people feel really good about this excess, every once in a while, maybe a siren goes off, and when the siren goes off. It's food fight time. Oh. You just, everybody just. It's one of the activities. Yeah, exactly. And you feel great about it. Yeah. You just throw in whatever. Just wasting food yeah. on the beach. Yeah. I'd like to see all licorice. Just a whole licorice bar. 
Could be good. Yeah, just candy. Mm -hmm. And it seems like when you do these all-inclusives, at least from my limited experience, there's only times when you can go and get your all-you-can-eat food. Mm -hmm. That's what it was when I was at my mm -hmm. resort, was like, you go at different times and you can get your food. Mine was, you go whenever you want. Whenever you feel as like it. As often as you want. Well, so, so you just leave your family on the beach and just go <laughs> eat yourself to death. I don't know. Seven days of it, though. Like, yeah. I'm not a big fan. I think I'm actually done with the all-inclusive resort because hmm. after seven days of buffet food, you just kind of, you've had enough. Yeah. You know? You and I are very different people. I wonder, uh, I don't know, I'll go dark for a second maybe, yeah. but like, you know, all, all the all-inclusives are typically set in places where surrounding communities are not places where there's a ridiculous excess of food and yeah. stuff like that so yeah i've thought about it that is too. kind of a, a bizarre thing that you know we have these like micro communities w where it's just like oh, the whole thing is about like binging on as much as you possibly can surrounded by people who like don't have anything to that is on. dark it's just like a i thought that weird too thing, and yeah. it's something i thought about yeah obviously when i was at this all inclusive yeah. i did asked somebody who was a frequent all inclusiver yeah and they said they had the same conversation with a local yeah like a an employee at one of these and he said you know what we're just you guys bring a lot of money to this community and it, it does true. employ quite a few people and like people really covet these jobs and take them seriously because the true. tourism industry is a lifeblood yeah so if me eating a whole pig helps somebody, <laughs> I'm very happy. Then, but it is something I was conscious of. Like, yeah. yeah, I think it's, you'd have to be completely ignorant not to think about that. Yeah. Like you said. Yeah. And now it's time for our shameless plug. Oh my God. No, what what happened? Happened? Oh my God. It's stuck. Oh. That's a corkscrew in Al's eye. Leave for two minutes. How did you okay. get the corkscrew? I don't know how in, okay, it it's lodged right into your eye socket. Just okay. get it out. Okay. Do we pull it out get or do we leave it, it in? Just, I don't know. I don't know. It? Do we turn? Okay. There's so much blood. Okay, I need some leverage. Okay, okay, okay. Trevor, put go, something go, down. It's getting okay. on my carpet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, god. Get on. I'm just oh. gonna put my knee just into your chest. Okay. That's the white stuff coming out of his eyeball. Yeah. Oh god. It's got on my face. That did not work. I got eyeball juice on my. Face. Oh, there is spurting. Oh, no. There is spurting. Oh, I gotta puke. Oh, oh Derek, I gotta oh, throw you up. You can throw up. I'll throw up. <laughs> Derek, no. I mean, just a second. Oh, my. At least oh, I'm God. Oh, my hair is so gross. What about uh, drinks? Like, when you go to these things, uh, do you, have you ever, like, had a drink that you just stick with? Like, do you just get pina coladas or margaritas or, you know? Bahama Mamas or whatever the hell they serve at these things. I don't know. I never know what to order. No. I, the last trip, I really got into mojitos. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I like mojitos. Big time. It's They're amazing. refreshing. Yeah, yeah. Very good. So mm -hmm. that and beer. I love yeah. love good beer. I like margaritas. Yeah. Definitely. I like beer margaritas. Mm. I would like to make my own drink at the start of a trip and just order that drink consistently. The Trevor. We can make a Pitch Guys cocktail. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it would be. It would have to have rye in it. Rye and yak's milk. <laughs> <laughs> Served hot. We'd call it the earnest. <laughs> yes. The yeah. earnest. Yeah. I mean, no, that's me yak. Well, we could play on it, you know? Okay. You know, it'd be great Ernest once you word. come up with your own drink. I got no problem with calling if, it the earnest. If they could put in a series of pipes yeah. fr directly from the bar. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it would come to each chair that's at the oh, resort. And then yes. you have a little spout and you can just pour your drink in there whenever you want. So you don't, don't have to do this. Uh, when you go to like a subway or something, you just like punch in how you want to customize your drink. Well, that'd be good you too. Just that customize sounds expensive. your drink and then it just straight goes to you once you okay. set it up. You swipe your card. It's yeah. all set up. Beep. And then you get your drink. So you could get rid of all the waitresses, but you'd have to replace them with plumbers. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. the pipes would be something Just else. to run lines all over yeah. the place. The sanitization would be a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> get something clogged in there. Hmm. Hmm. We're so not what, pitching what, getting rid of waitresses, by the way. No. No. So, so you get down there, you gorge yourself. What else do you do? What kind of like... You uh, got to eventually move. Ideas for like things to do. Right. When you're there. Yes. Well... Hmm. I got one. All right. Uh, you know uh, Limbo? Yes. I don't know if people are into Limbo as much these days, okay. but 
Uh, you know, uh, hot yoga. Yes. Hot limbo. Hot limbo. Yep. The limbo <laughs> stick is on fire. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So there's another element to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You know, literally. Hmm. All right. Yeah. So just a bit more at stake. If you're not good enough, you actually. Yeah. You could get hurt. You're yeah. burned. If you right. don't go yeah, as burnt. low as you can go, then right. you're going to go on fire. You right. sign a waiver too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So hot, hot limbo, hot I think limbo. would be interesting. Okay. For the person doing it and for people watching. Mm-hmm. I really do like the idea of a Star Wars themed resort. Okay. Like you go there and it's a, an all inclusive resort, but it's an entirely Star Wars themed. All of the employees are in mm-hmm. Star Wars type costumes. There's a cantina, all of the drinks, the food, everything's very exotic. You don't right. know what it is. Is this in a hot location? In a yes, hot this is on Tatooine. Yeah, this I feel like, a, I feel like this is a you're, resort you're on Tatooine. Full outfit, it's going to be toasty. Right. Yeah. And you have to be in Star Wars related gear. Yeah. You can choose. You can be the Mandalorian. You oh, can- you got all these people of heat stroke who went as Wookiees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the bartender is just a giant jab of the hut. <laughs> yeah, I, all right. I, I also had, I just had this idea just right now just came to me. I was just in Las Vegas last week. Yeah. And one of the things I noticed is that if you go down the strip, there are a ton of people in shitty knockoff costumes. Like you've oh, yeah. got shitty Minnie Mouse and you've okay, got yeah. shitty Mickey Mouse <laughs> and you've got shitty Paw Patrol. So and the funny, the, the funniest thing ever is the fact that we were on Fremont Street. Sorry, not to a side here in New yeah, Vegas. Yeah. But we're on Fremont Street, and here you see these four guys dressed in Paw Patrol costumes, and literally not 10 meters away from it is a woman in, like, the tightest G-string thong (laughs) with, like, two pieces of tape tipped uh, over her nipples. So... (laughs) Sorry, what is your point? <laughs> I don't know. My point is, <laughs> Anything what about sorry? What about a shitty knockoff resort <laughs> yeah. where everybody's in costumes that aren't quite Minnie Mouse, yeah. so aren't like quite Mickey Mouse, super lazy uh, con cosplay? Yeah, people are making isn't. their own costumes, and you got to pay to get your picture with yeah. them. And the food isn't quite chicken. It's like, right. you know, it's, like <laughs> it's just their interpretation of everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think so that's a terrible idea. It's, it's all, a little it's all generic. <laughs> Do they pay you to go to this? Door <laughs> hangs on your room. No, but a little it's, bit it's cheaper. It's yeah, cheaper. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm not Just subscribing shitty. to this at all. <laughs> it's terrible. It's called shitties. It's, it's like <laughs> yeah, it's like if you want an all-inclusive but you can't quite do it, but right. you know, if you just don't want to spend a lot of money, but right. you want to be outside your house. It's for frugal. And it's in an people. area of the country maybe that isn't renowned for tourism, but yeah. maybe yeah. more for crime or something. Yeah. yeah. Keep the cost down. You could Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, I was, was going to go somewhere else. But I was gonna tr- Never mind. Can, can you, you tell us anyways? I was going to try to go some like Flint, Michigan kind of oh, theme yeah. thing. <laughs> like bad water and just, they're doing yeah, the best just, they can yeah, resort. I realized that everything was Jeez. terrible. So. Yeah. I'm thinking air guitar or air bands. Yeah. You know, I'd like to see untalented tourists all trying to do like air band competitions mm. while semi heat stroked and a little bit drunk. Right. Mm-hmm. I think that would be a fun activity at an all inclusive karaoke resorts. And they have to dress in character too, like eighties oh. hair band and stuff right, like that. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I think that would be, it would be good. something I like. Uh, I like getting off resort for, for like activities. I'd like to like, you know, be there, have some time. But like a day laying in the sun is probably uh-huh. enough for me. Then I'm I got I got a bit of like your wife's ailment where I need to right like, want to go experience something. I what think do it you depends go on what country you're in too though. I'm not yeah. very adventurous and I'm very scared. Yeah, I don't like the idea of going off resorts and maybe like I don't know being kidnapped. Right, maybe yeah. like organized tour through the with people or right or just yeah. on your own. Yeah, you think you'd be kidnapped? It hasn't happened yet. No. no. Knock on wood. I mean, the worst thing that happened is we hailed a cab in Cuba, went right. off resort, and these tiny little cabs that look like the Tilt-A-Whirl ride yeah. came along where it's like a scooter around this kind of like enclosed cabin that's meant for three. Right. And there were four of us, and we all got in there and said, I think we, we might die on this thing because he was <laughs> going like a bat of hell. <laughs> but... Uh, I don't know what that has to do with anything, actually. Well, that's know. kind of an excursion, really. <laughs> that's true. It right. was, yeah. 
I mean, I've heard of uh, people who accidentally get in the fake like timeshare presentation cabs, oh. right? And they end <laughs> oh, yes. up getting a tour. Uh, a forced tour for a whole day before they get to their resort of oh, just really? different timeshares. Yeah. Really? It's happened to people I know. Wow. Oh, and it's, you got to be savvy getting out of the airport. Yeah. And you, yeah, it takes a day of your trip, basically. Crazy. Yeah. And then you end up with eight timeshares. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. What other excursions? Did um, you go on any, on any of your uh, all-inclusives? Yeah, I went on one that I have it's made me feel kind of guilty about now no. and I would never do it anymore. But, mm. um, when we were in Cuba, mm-hmm. we went on a dolphin excursion. Oh. And so they had these, like you actually had to, we took a catamaran out to the ocean basically where they had an enclosure and they had several dolphins inside this enclosure. Uh-huh. So the dolphins were in the ocean, but they mm. were still kind of in captivity, and the kids got to kind of pet mm. the dolphins. And I just thought, this is really not right. Like, yeah. I, I've decided that I am not going to support any more dolphin or, like, killer, any, any sort of animal in captivity. Mm-hmm. I'm not into supporting that anymore. I, I guess house. it would depend on if it was, like, like some of those in captivity would be like animals that were injured and could not okay. be able to survive That's in true. the wild. Yeah. If it was mm. a, something like that. Like a rescue yeah. thing? Like a rescue thing. Then, But then would you so, have people injuring the animals just so they could bring them to the rescue? Right. Thing? I mean, it would depend on the morals <laughs> yeah. of wherever you are. You know, if it makes money, I guess. So now that you know that I don't support that in right. any way, I did <laughs> used to joke about it and say that somebody asked if we did any excursions or did anything special yeah. when we went to uh, Cuba. And I said, well, actually, we rented our own dolphin for the day oh, and yeah. uh, you just get to park it in the marina <laughs> yeah. and then <laughs> but i was thinking you know like wasn't that like an episode ago you pitched the idea <laughs> of having your own personal orca in a hot tub <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true yeah okay so here's an idea then maybe okay. you could rent your own dolphin for the day but you uh you're gonna make sure you're not being cruel by paying it a fair wage yeah you're paying okay. the dolphin yeah. yeah okay and you're gonna ensure that it's uh it's there of its own free will so you'll yeah. ask if it consents to you riding it all day okay yeah, it's yeah then like it's okay squeak and sign a waiver and yeah well dol- <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing <laughs> dolphins are pretty smart so yeah. i'm pretty sure like they would have their dolphin know, lawyer look over the right you know and if they're making good money like yeah. if you're tipping them well at the end of the day only the finest fish right yeah you yeah. give them tuna or whatever so oh, your fish, only it? experience with actual excursions and pitches for excursions are borderline depressing. Yeah. How about you guys? Any excursions? Uh, I just kind of went around the town when I went on mine, so nothing exotic. Mm. Like, I just found a few other restaurants. Like, I know it's kind of dumb to go and spend money if you're at an all-inclusive already, but, mm-hmm. you know, there's like a cool, like, bar, cafe thing where they had live music. Mm-hmm. I like that. They kind of did... Uh, you know, Mexican themed versions of Beatles songs. Mm-hmm. Now it's just, very touristy. Just think if you could have taken your own dolphin with you for the day while you it were. It was doing by this. a river, so it's <laughs> not out of the <laughs> yeah. realm. But you yeah. could have rode your dolphin to the location. Right. There was this one Spectre. giant lizard in a tree that always was there right. when I was there. <laughs> it's kind of hung out. So, yeah. I think like scuba diving, something like that is uh, kind of a classic thing to do there. Or I like, I mean, lots of time it's, there's places you could hike or something like that, that I would uh, be interested in. Um, Do you ever go uh, to like those ruins uh, in some places in Mexico? Oh, we did that. We did that. So that uh, like a little step pyramid kind of thing, ziggurat or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. We did the Mayan ruins. Yeah. You actually get to go right up to the ruins or climb them or something. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's quite enjoyable. Well, that'd yeah, be interesting. I idea and it's gone. Mm. What about uh, just an on purpose? All ex- uh, uh, what about going on a timeshare tour on purpose? Mm. I've done you know, it. <laughs> you're just so bored and you're like, wow, come get me. They well, come get you and you just forcibly try to sell you stuff and you just get to practice your uh haggling skills and saying no to things you can't afford all and day you really do have to say no yeah. a million times well i've done it just like, to challenge yourself when we went to maui uh there were six of us we took my in-laws came on that trip with us and we did a lot of different excursions and day trips and things like that and they're very expensive 
And they told us at the shop, well, if you want to cut your price down, we'll give you 50% off on all these excursions. You just have to go to this mm-hmm. all-inclusive, or not, sorry, all-inclusive, but um, this time timeshare time presentation. Yeah, and 50% we hadn't of done your time one. left. We hadn't done one, so we said, ah, well, we can give up. Like they said, it was an hour and a half. Yeah. We can give up an hour and a half to do this if we're going to save this money. We did save major money. So we went on the timeshare presentation. It was not an hour and a half. It was about three hours. And it was the most high pressure sales that I have ever experienced in my wow. life. It's uh, When you say no for the fifth time, do they like cock their fists back like they're going to punch you? They do. They have all sorts of yeah. tactics. They'll make you feel guilty. Mm-hmm. Like um, they'll play your wife off of you and say, mm-hmm. you know, if you were a good husband, you'd do this for her. And wow. they'll try everything. You go through three levels of sales. Like you have your original salesperson. And when they realize they're not getting anywhere with you, they bring in the manager and they'll kind of play almost like good cop, bad cop. And then yeah. you have to do your survey on the way out so that you can get your parking uh, stub. Yeah. And uh, the survey is not a survey. Do they it's use your one children last against? Chance to. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised they if they do some places. It's uh, <laughs> wow. it's pretty crazy. Yeah, but I'll do another one sometime if I can get a discount <laughs> yeah. like that for sure. We just go so. and like play them a little bit, like like you're kind of interested, and then no, I don't think you need to do that. Turkey. You just keep saying no the whole time. You don't want to show that you're interested because then you'll be there forever. You know the thing like is, if you had nothing to do, it might be an entertaining way. Well, to you'd have to have like nothing to do. Oh, it takes you six uh, hours in yeah. there. Yeah. Have well, you get you guys have never done one? No. no. Oh my goodness, I'll tell you. Like and. It actually almost worked. Like we actually considered it for a moment. Well, like, well, just maybe, to get out of there. Maybe, yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe we should be doing this, honey, because we were in the, one of the most beautiful places in the world. We were yeah. in Maui, but no. In the end, we said no. This is ridiculous. We're yeah. not going to do this. And they make you feel like this is your only opportunity. If All you right. walk away They're from this, burn you're the house never going to get a that. deal like this. Yeah. yeah. No, I felt really guilty about it afterwards, and they yeah. were playing on my Canadian sensibilities and my yeah. mm-hmm. wanting to be polite and yeah. very difficult to say no. But uh, you just go in now knowing, and as soon as they say hi to you, just say no, yeah, <laughs> and just keep repeating that at a yeah. loud decibel and yeah. take whatever you can get at the end, I guess. But I wonder if it's ruining things these timeshare presentations because I'll be in places now where they'll say, "Hey." Would you like a free gift? Would you like a free photo? And uh, I yeah. instantly say no because I'm mm. pretty certain there's a catch to You're it. Automatically skeptical. That they're there's gonna like haul me a in. fake like customer service desks too. Sometimes they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You've got to watch out. Even when in you Vegas, go to Mexico, they'll have a sign up saying the name of your air company and telling you this is the bus you get on to get to your hotel and they'll get you there but they're gonna take you to their presentation first really so it's crazy uh, yeah you got to be really really careful with that stuff okay so maybe the on-purpose timeshare excursions not not perfect uh hearing you talk about maui my uh son is obsessed with moana right now no uh in 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 moana (laughs) they uh they do this stuff called wayfinding, and so they ride these like big catamarans, and they're right. like they just ride. Tell the direction. <laughs> Is the catamaran the one that's like half out of the water on one side? It's got it's like a like a boat, but it's got two outriggers. Yeah, on it. so it's got like two. I you don't know, tip them on purpose, on kind of. Yeah, but like they, uh, you know, they they don't have GPS and stuff. They like use the stars. They like use the the temperature of the water, and I feel like this is an excursion that I want to do. I want to like do a wayfinding excursion where we right. just like i mean there's some kind of guide who knows what he's doing but it would yeah. be entertaining yeah it would live be on the boat for a while yeah but that sounds wonderful yeah. well i've done the i've i haven't done them but i've seen the humpback whales uh surrounding maui <laughs> wow Yeah, so thanks to this week's sponsor, uh, Corky's Automatic Screw, like the auto screw is yeah. just a, right? It's just a heck of a product. Yeah. Um, you get a bottle of wine, you need to get yeah. in that bottle of wine. That's uh, powerful. You could use that Corky's auto screw. You could probably use that auto screw on anything. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. It can get in the uh, damnedest places, and it's a self-reticulating s- corkscrew that 
She does most of the work for you. It's yeah. sharp. It's sharp. Oh, it certainly is and sharp. You, it works much. so fast, so fast, you don't even see it coming. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I could speak for Al, but I think uh, I would find this to be a perfectly functional product in my kitchen. Corky's out of screw. Check Cork- it out today. So besides the relaxation you're going to experience at these all-inclusives right. and these cruises and all these kind of things. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, bad stuff does happen. You hear like so-and-so goes on a week-long trip and they spent the whole time on the toilet or, right. you know, this person got this disease or this person, their flight didn't pan out. Right? Yeah. So can we talk about what we do to avoid calamities when we try to relax at these all-inclusives or okay. maybe pitch some ideas for just how to have a really relaxing time? Right. One thing go. I one thing I've learned oh. is don't let your kids go get your drinks at the bar. No, yeah. Because I was sending my son, this is in Cuba, so he was probably around 12, 13 years old when we went. He would go to the bar, get my drink, and then he'd order his, which he was allowed to do, but he would just order virgin drinks. And I think it was maybe like a daiquiri or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that, right? Yeah. So a virgin daiquiri, he loved the fruity drinks. He was yeah. really into it. Yeah. And uh, he was doing this for a good part of a day. <laughs> for oh, like, it was about three hours. And then he said to me, Dad, I am just, something is not right. I am feeling very dizzy. <laughs> so I <laughs> took a sip of his drink. And sure enough, he'd been drinking real daiquiris all day. <laughs> My 12-year-old, who probably weighed, oh, 70 pounds at the time, <laughs> probably had about three or four drinks in him. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah the resort, don't tell your mom. Yeah, exactly. The resort allowed this? Well, Cuba's a little different, right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, they maybe just thought he was getting them for his parents. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, that's a good <laughs> tip, I guess. <laughs> yeah. don't let your I can do. say he can handle his liquor better than his mother, though, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was good early training. So, yeah, that's mine. So, a lot of those... Uh, a, a, a lot of the issues that come with, like, you know, digestive issues sure. come around consuming water. Diarrhea. Mm. Right. When I was in yeah. Egypt, they're like, don't drink anything with ice cubes in it. You were at an all-inclusive in, in Egypt. No, I was just oh. generally in Egypt. Okay. Oh. And they said, don't don't consume anything with ice cubes. Don't do anything. Yeah. Like, only drink something yes. that you open the lid yeah. on. Uh, so, you know, as part of your all-inclusive, uh, you get a complimentary life straw when you check in. Life then, straw. It's are you familiar straw. with life straw? No. It's like a water filtration system, like a Brita, but oh, okay. it, but it filters out like viruses and bacteria, and like you can use it in like in like third world countries it's like to like drink, drink, a real drink water out of a puddle. You can filter out a filter out like bacteria. Yeah, I have like one in my each of my vehicles. Come on, Al, you got to be ready for just in you case. You have these okay. in your vehicles. Yeah, it's good to be ready. Anyway, uh, I think he's making it up. But, uh, yeah. So. Um, you you just get this life straw and then you just drink all your beverages through your life straw and then you know it's filtered, it's clean. You know, I don't know if they would allow booze to get in or not, but that's a good idea. You know, though. idea. Just take your huh. own life straw. If you yeah, know. there you go. That's an awesome idea. Yeah, that I totally forgot, but that whole don't drink the ice thing. Yeah, my wife and I honeymooned in Thailand. I forgot. That's another resort. You forgot I, you honeymooned in Thailand. Well, I forgot that we had this resort vacation. Oh, yeah, we yeah. honeymooned. Yeah, and we went on an excursion where you go out to the you see the local scene in Thailand, and I'll yeah. tell you, there's some pretty interesting things that you can see. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the local scene in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, well, like they've got all sorts of like. <laughs> There's different shows you can see that are rather okay. eye opening. I heard about a show once in yeah. Thailand that Yeah. Cirque du Soleil. Like kind of if you like like played if, ping pong. And it's great for the that's, honeymoon. That's not even hyperbole. Yeah. Though, <laughs> but anyways, um she uh, my wife loves to chew on ice and I was smart enough to say we were handed a drink on our way out of some show that we had seen. Yeah. And I said, Don't drink the ice and she was oh it's gonna be fine don't worry about it. i'm gonna drink the ice explosive diarrhea the Ugh. next day for probably 24 hours terrible like just pain it is yeah. the worst thing yeah i don't know if you guys have ever experienced it the traveler's diarrhea yeah. uh no it it's, is one of horrible. the worst possible things that yep. could ever happen to you it's a real life. damper on honeymoon. it is it puts a damper on the honeymoon but not only that it is it is extremely painful especially if like you get it just yeah. before you get on the plane oh. to go back home and you, you have a that, long that international to you? flight it was oh. then then it's a bad it's a bad life for you you know it is you basically have to occupy a yeah. bathroom for the entire trip yeah like 30,000 feet it's terrible yes yeah 
<laughs> what about a, a party tarp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's the solution? Going to? Well, just all the, um, you know, you, you're drinking, yeah. you're eating constantly. Yeah. Uh, disgustingness that happens. Right. Um, just a tarp. Just everyone wears just to tarps. Take care of everything. Yeah, everyone just it's it's acceptable that everyone's just wearing like a festive or party tarp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, or a resort, that's a resort, called, a resort that's called diapers. Oh yeah. And when you go there, you get into your diaper, and that's all you wear for the entire time. Well, they look like there. swim trunks, right? Yeah, right. And then you have servants yeah. that will actually change you every once in a while. <laughs> oh my god! You get to feel a little like a baby. I think that is a resort. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think there's probably baby themed resorts like that. Oh, it'd be nice to go back, you know? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're in retaining some trunks. Like you can pee in your suit like an astronaut. Right. Well, there's. Yeah. Yeah. That there's would save the swim up bar. Swimming diaper. Yeah. yeah. Right. There are, they don't filter pee. They just capture number twos. Yeah. So uh, take your own they antibiotics. Don't filter pee? No. Is that true? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I was misled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were misled. <laughs> I always figured they were good for pee too. Um, yeah, yeah. Take your own antibiotics, I guess, yes. and uh, a life-proof straw. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Urine retaining swim trunks. What about if you want to stay hydrated? Yes. And of course, you're going to be drinking lots too. Yeah. You know, might have alcohol. Right. If you just had an IV drip in the entire uh, yeah. trip, would be very helpful. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. a colada drip. And when yeah. you like uh, lay down on your whatever recliner right. in the yeah. sun you can just plug in yeah it's important yeah. to stay hydrated get that so gatorade get straight into your veins drinking water. Yeah. it'll just do it for you yeah it's all right mm-hmm. what kind of spf do you guys use like a thousand straight zinc wow. i don't know i don't know the numbers but i know that uh it's pretty thick i like the bronzer yeah. i don't even try to protect myself <laughs> you're like straight up canola oil just rubbed yeah. all on yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you come back Besides uh, posting on Facebook and just uh, sh- making your loved ones look at photos, what are some souvenirs you can bring back oh. to commemorate this trip? You want the all-inclusive to continue in your mind when you come back. Mm-hmm. So what's some nice mementos that you guys have brought back from some of these trips or I, know, uh, you would, wish you had brought back? I used to collect shot glasses, which oh, yeah. I mean, in retrospect, was a bad life choice, but mm-hmm. uh, it was fun at the time. But you just got a lot of shot glasses yeah, now. Yeah. My wife loves the souvenir shops. Mm -hmm. Like, she could spend hours in them, and I used to go in there with her. But I realized over time that I just couldn't handle it. And Mm -hmm. so, I usually sit on a bench in front of the souvenir shop. Yeah. I don't bring anything back except except the experience anymore. I don't want a a cheap t-shirt that says the place where I was. I want the memory. So, I don't believe in them. I enjoy like bartering with people. Do you? Yeah. I, I like that game. I think it's kind of fun. It stresses me out. Yeah. Yep. I'm not good at it. That's why. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if your airplane screws up bad enough, your airline, you could come back with other people's luggage. Oh. It's a souvenir. As long mm-hmm. as you up upsell. That's a cheap t-shirt. Or up-trade. Yeah. Trade up. Yeah. I wonder how often this happens. Um, you got all this free food lying around. Mm-hmm. People probably, there's got to be someone who doesn't get their fill of it like me. Do you think anyone tries to bring back uh, the buffet food with them? Mm, well, it would depend what it is. Like, like Ziploc like bags over it. back to Canada? Yeah. Or, or back to wherever they're from. Do you think they like try to fill their suitcase with like, you know, buffet stuff that leak the next day or two or put in their freezer and they yeah. pack it all on ice? And, uh, yeah. You got to have a little mini freezer that you're carrying with yeah, you. One cooler. of your suitcases is a freezer. Sure. Nuclear the, powered. Nuclear powered <laughs> suitcase freezer? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's a small it's a like, viable fission pitch, reactor, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That would save you a lot of money because you'd get all this free food, but you okay. just have to have a nuclear powered food. You, you'd have to cause a few problems at the, in security. You'd have to declare it at the yeah. border. Yeah, though, they might not let you mean, take it on the plane. Yeah. Right. You'd have to check that probably. Yeah, but it'd be great for those television shows, like those border security television shows, because they'd have all sorts of things that could highlight for people coming back. Yeah. yeah. You know, like you ever watch those shows and like people are bringing exotic game and things that have like sausage that's been in their suitcase for three days yeah and no no never seen this that's my big, wife uh no. sh- she brought home sugar cane from south africa oh okay and uh she had like a layover somewhere and by the time she got back it was just sugar? rotten oh, no good it's terrible yeah 
But she said it was amazing. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Don't ever try and take a goddamn apple across the American border, like Canadian-American border. No. You will get stopped. You could get arrested. Hmm. For an apple. Oh, they do not want apples coming across that border. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I remember bananas being a thing one It's because an apple a day across. keeps the doctor yeah. away. Right. Yeah, and, and they Americans have a huge, aren't uh, covered, so they want no. you to pay for their health care. Yeah, and they make yeah. a lot of money off that there medical you go. industry. There you I go. had a little camper, and we had a couple apples in the fridge, and we'd forgotten about them. Yeah. And they pulled us aside and searched the camper, found the apples, and told us that they could seize our trailer for these apples. And uh, I said, sorry, and then they let me go. I didn't get to take the apples in, though. No. So <laughs> They didn't like them apples. No. No. Meanwhile, when you're coming from the United States and you're going into Canada, they could care less what's in your fridge. Yeah. No. <laughs> the ultimate souvenir for me would be a <laughs> selfie and a shark cage dive. You know, you ever seen that? Shark yeah. cage diving? Yeah. There's like a horror movie that came out yeah. a couple years ago about two girls who did it. I want to do that and have a selfie with the shark. Mm-hmm. So the shark is in the cage with you? Uh, I think you got to pay more for that. It's a cage match. You have <laughs> yeah. to fight them off. Huh? No, no, no. Okay. They just dunk you in the cage in the water right. and you're protected by this cage, this metal yeah. cage. Which has meat around it to yeah, kind they of pour like yeah. blood in the water. Sure. Chum in the water. Right. Chum, chum yeah. cannon. A chum oh, cannon. There we go. Yeah. So much chum you can't yeah. even see the shark. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you're in, you're in a cloud they of blood. They just tell you that it's there. Yeah, yeah there's sharks all around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then they just swarm around you and uh, you're protected, apparently, but uh, yeah. that's quite the thing. Mm-hmm. Get the heart going, I think. There you go. That'd be good, yeah. Get the heart going and the urine flowing. Yep. Mm-hmm. So a uh, selfie with a shark, that would be the ultimate souvenir. And you've talked me out of pockets of buffet rotting meat. There yeah. You go. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, I think if you uh, have been planning to go for spring break and or if you're just trying to get away from the sub-zero temperatures wherever you live, I think we sold this for you. Yeah, you got That's some, right. Got I think some we've new ideas. Uh, given you some ideas to help make your hot holiday even hotter. And if you have any ideas for your own all-inclusive resort vacations, please send them our way to at Pitch Guys Podcast on Twitter. There you go. Yeah, like, subscribe, and share, and uh, uh, we'll keep on talking about mindless garbage. There you go. Send us a review if you liked what you hear. Send it to another person you think might enjoy it. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.